I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I've been sitting here for the last like five minutes trying to find a way to start this video. I don't, I just don't want to be dramatic or this video to come across as dramatic. That's like the last thing I want. But I just don't know how to navigate this or how to express this in like a non-dramatic way. Because the truth is, I have basically just dropped off the face of the earth for the last two weeks. I haven't posted, I haven't been on my Instagram, um, and I've moved. <laughs> I have moved, guys. Ugh, what even is my life? I'm sure many of you have a lot of questions. I know a lot of you do. I posted on my Instagram story like a few sneak peeks of the new house, which I'm so excited about. I cannot wait to show you guys. Yeah, I got a lot of questions. A lot of people very confused, and I 100% understand like I've gone MIA and then suddenly I'm in a new house um I mean I don't have to explain myself but I feel a sense of responsibility to share this and to be vulnerable and yeah just to share like you guys know I share my life I try and be as honest and open about my life and the highs and lows and this is I don't know if you call this a high or a low it's been a lot of lows, but now we're on a high. Like this, this, this beautiful home and this next chapter is is definitely a high. But um, yeah, it's been a journey to get here. Um, I guess I'll start from the beginning. There's no no better place to start. If you're new here or if you just don't know, my husband and I moved out in 2020 in the middle of the pandemic, which is a good time to move. Lost my job like a couple days after moving into our first apartment. So that was a little stressful but um yeah we have been living out of home for the last two and a half years we got married in april of this year and earlier this year as well we also settled on our land and started building our first home originally our house was meant to be finished in they said like september october but we were more so thinking november december um we are now in october we don't even have a roof <laughs> like it, we are not even close to being finished um our new estimated move-in date is sometime in march again we'll see i'm not exactly optimistic and because we thought it would be done by the end of this year we decided in april of this year to move back in with my parents which has been a journey <laughs> I love my parents. I just want to start by saying that. My parents are some of the best people. You guys know. You see them in my videos. But it just it just wasn't working. It just wasn't working. And I think it can be hard sometimes to admit that. I think going from living out of home and being your own independent adult and living your life in your own way and creating, you know, your routines and your expectations and I don't know, just being an adult and having your own space and then going from that and then moving back in with your parents and then almost going back to your own childlike state. Um, it's weird. It's, it's weird. It's, I don't want to say unnatural because like a lot of people do it. I mean, we did it. We did it for six months, over six months, but it just kind of got to a point where it was just not healthy anymore for anyone. Yeah. And that's okay. Originally, we all thought that it would be, you know, six maybe nine months, but as things have gone on and as the building process has continued, it's obvious that it's going to be at least another six months, if not longer. Um, and it kind of got to a point where, yeah, it was just the best decision for us to move out, find our own place and yeah, just remove ourselves from that situation. As I said, I'm not gonna go into detail about what happened or what went down. Um, I think it's just important to know that everything's okay well i mean it's not okay it hasn't been okay but it is okay now i feel like this is a very real part of adulthood and this is this is just an experience like it's all part of life one of you guys sent me the sweetest message and it just really like hit home they said have been thinking of you this quiet sunday morning and hoping the changes you're making contribute to your serenity and peace of mind going forward sending lots of love and hugs all the way from lovely northern california i know you've made the best decision for yourselves and your family plans change life happens we grow and learn and adapt it's another stitch in the tapestry of life but you've got this oh <gasps> amen sister i feel like that really just sums it up this is the best decision for not only myself 
for Nick, for my parents, for our mental health, for our lifestyle, just like everything. I I just feel so good about this decision. It was not an easy decision. It was not an overnight, like I know it might seem like that. This was like a build up for, for a while. Um, I think this was, yeah, definitely coming for a while. And yeah, it was just truly the best, best decision for us. I don't know if you can see or feel it from me speaking, but like I just feel such a sense of peace and relief and excitement. Like I just feel like I'm, I'm back, like I'm back. Your environment plays such a huge, well, I don't know, maybe this is just me, but it plays such a huge part in how I feel and how I act and how I carry myself. Just to feel that sense of peace and calmness and excitement about where we're living and to have our own space again. Like it's truly the best feeling and I really cannot convey that enough. I'm sure if you've done this before, I, I feel like it's one thing to live with your parents, but to go from living with them and then living out of home and then moving back in, as a full-blown married woman, um, it's a lot. It is a lot. It's a lot for everyone, like not only for us, but also for them. Like they've gone from being empty nesters to having two adults living in their house. Like it was just a lot. And yeah, that's really what it came down to. It's a bit of a unique situation or dynamic, not only coming back home with my husband and that dynamic, but then also just a lot of like unresolved trauma and PTSD and just a lot of a lot of layers um you guys know I've been very honest uh about my sister and her health and I guess the after effects of that like it's not even though she might not be living in the house anymore there's still a lot of uh a lot of feelings a lot of emotions and um yeah it's it's tough um, and unfortunately that has like a knock-on effect on other relationships and other situations. We needed our own space again. We needed to make this decision for not only ourselves, but for my parents as well. And it's all good. It's all good in the hood. As I said, like I don't want this to come across as dramatic, but it's really hard not to make it seem that way. Like we've just upped and left and moved into this new rental, like I mean, that's really what what has happened, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. It can be really hard to admit, but sometimes it just doesn't, it doesn't work. Like it just, it's as simple as that. Something might seem like a good idea and you can try and you can fail and it, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Like you just draw a line under it and just move on. And that's what we're doing in this new house. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I filmed an empty house tour, so that'll be up in my next video, so stay tuned for that. Lots of moving vlogs, just like so much content to come. Um, this is not why we move for the content, but just to be in a new space, like I feel so motivated, I'm excited to like decorate and just to, I don't know, be back to back to my, my thing, you know? Like I can fill grocery hauls again. And cause this is like a brand, brand new house. It's quite, I want to say similar, but like similar vibes to our house that we're building. And you guys know, we put a lot of our stuff in storage, but we also sold a lot of our stuff, like our couch and microwave and f not a fridge. We have a fridge. Do we have a fridge? We have a fridge. <laughs> we want to upgrade our fridge. Like all of these things that we've been saving for, for our new house, we can now start buying. And I mean, who knows how long we'll be here for, but to decorate and then take it over to our new house. Like I'm just so excited. <sighs> It feels good to share. It feels good to get that off my chest. My parents are, of course, super happy for us, super encouraging of this of this decision. And yeah, I'm I'm just really happy. I oh, I just can't wait. I can't wait to bring you guys along. It's been really fun. I'm trying to think of like other questions you guys would have. I as I said, I it's not important to go into the nitty-gritty whys, what happened. We have just been in like full finding a house mode, which has been really challenging when we made the decision to leave we moved in temporarily with nick's parents which they have been so great and so supportive and very understanding and obviously we knew that was just a temporary solution and it was really important and honestly imperative that we found a new rental as quickly as we could so i mean it was only a week but work inspection 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 sleep repeat that's been our life for the last like week and a half um, but I feel so lucky that we were able to find something as quick as we did. I, I just saw a glimpse of the rental market and it is 
it's dire like it's actually so sad i just feel for all these people that oh my god it's just so bad right now and i i don't i almost feel like a sense of guilt for like having the means to build a house and to live in this beautiful rental like it's not gonna be easy you guys will see when i do my next budget with me like sacrifices have had to be made but i think ultimately like this is my overall message i obviously do a lot of budget and finance related videos on my channel but if there's one thing i've learned from this experience is that there are some things that you just can't put a price on and your mental health and your happiness is one of those and if that means that we barely save any money for the next six to nine months however long it takes until we're in our own home um then so be it like I, yeah, you just really can't put a price on that. And yeah, it's gonna be an interesting next few months, a lot of reshuffling with the budget, but ultimately we have a roof over our heads, a stunning home. And yeah, I just feel so lucky. I just feel awkward like talking about it because it's such like a personal thing and it's something that not only involves me, Nick, but also my family and yeah, I just don't want it to be come across or be portrayed in a certain way that paints anyone in a negative light because it's just not, it's not like that. We're all just dealing with our own things and we tried living together, it didn't work, and here we are. Yeah, I just wanted to sit down and make this video, give you guys the life updates. I just think it was important to address this before we get cracking with the moving vlogs and all the moving content. That is it, I think. I My camera is about to die, so I'm going to wrap this up here. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your support, and I will see you very, very soon. Just watch